guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very, very special one. And today's video is all about It's Bell Cosmetics School Summer Palette. They came out recently with like this palette. And I was a blown away, like absolutely blown away by the texture, by the look of it. Like look at the packaging. They have elevated everything in their packaging. And if you guys are new to my channel, I'm Smithy. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. I am a big fan of It's Bell Cosmetics. I have two of their prior releases also with me, which is It's Bell's Break the Rules palette as well as the Flare Collection Remix palette. Let me actually get that out. So this was their first palette, which was Break the Rules palette. Super colorful, super jewel toned. And then they came out with the Flare Collection Remix palette, which was more like on the tones of purples and greens but they've always come out with like these nine pan eyeshadow palettes uh, and all shimmer palettes this is the first time they branched out to the mattes and i am so excited so excited this is the first bigger palette that they have in their collection and this palette retails at 48 dollars and look at these shades they have some beautiful mattes beautiful duochromes beautiful shimmers in this palette i am so impressed so this palette consists of 16 shades out of which there are eight mattes three shimmers and five duochromes and i think that's such a good ratio to have in the collection like in a palette if it is like 50 50 i'm very very satisfied with that by the way they gifted me this palette and I cannot be more excited. When It's Bell Cosmetics reached out to me, you guys know how much I love them. I absolutely am head over heels on their palettes. Their shimmer formulas are like one of my favorite shimmer formulas that I have in my collection. I often use it all the time on my channel so it won't come as a surprise at all so when they reached out to me that they wanted to send me this palette i almost beat my pants i won't even lie <laughs> oh my god i was so 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 excited like a brand that is so loving to me so dear to me uh when they reached out to me i was almost in tears i really really love this with all my heart. I cannot wait to try like more of its Bell Cosmetics. By the way, you can see both the eye looks that I created using this palette, which will come later in the video. But before that, let's dive right into the swatches, how beautiful these shades are. I also want to point out like if you see this palette from the promo photos, I felt like these two shades are very, very similar to each other. And similarly, this blue and this purple looks very, very similar. But in person, they're definitely different. And you will see it in the swatches too, how different they are. I'll give a close up of everything, everything on the screen for you guys. But let's dive right into the swatches because I know that you guys are dying, dying to see this. By the way, I do have a code with It's Spell Cosmetics. So if you guys want to try out, my code is Smithy Sony and it'll get you like 10% off on any anything on their website. And if you use that code, I thank you so very much. But yes, let's dive right into the swatch. The first shadow in the palette is called Summer Glow. And this is more of like a rose gold shimmer. I won't even say that it's like a typical rose gold shimmer. It definitely is like a more cool tone baby pink shade. But it has such, such beautiful dimension to it. As you can see, it's absolutely stunning. Now, the second shade in the palette is called Seashells. And this is more defined as like a muted rose shade. And these shadows, like the mattes in the palette, it's super creamy. I had something on my hand, so I have to go over it one more time. Bear with me. It was the glitter glue that I used <laughs> for my eye look. But this is the second shade of the palette. And this is called Seashells. And this moreover looks like a, you know, like a pinky brown shade. A very nudey pink, everyday, like my one and done shade kind of a look. I really, really love this shade. I actually used this yesterday as my blush shade too. And it worked out beautifully. Okay, the next shade in the palette is called Pink Lemonade and this is the first duochrome in the palette and this is more like a pink to a golden shifting shade. Very, very excited for this. It's so smooth. Look at that. Such a beautiful shade. Again, this is Pink Lemonade. The next shadow in the palette is called It's a Flamingo and this is a hot pink shade and in a matte format. So let's do that. Look how pigmented these shadows are. Like, 
Are you serious? So pretty. And you can definitely go in like two, two shadows each and create a eye look. Like this all over the crease and this on the lid, this all over the crease, this on the lid. All of these eyeshadows like in this palette can create like different, different eye looks with just two shades. So you can definitely, without thinking anything, you can definitely create like eight eyeshadows just going like side by side. It'll be stunning. <laughs> I'll go row by row so that you can like see all these uh, shadows in action and in close up. And then I'll show you the entire palette swatched out on my hand in the outside lighting too. Okay, now let's move on to the second row. The first shadow in the palette is called Festival Nights. And this is another duochrome. And this has a lavender to a pink shifting shade. I can totally see the shift. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Like such a beautiful, it also, I can also see like a green coming through in the viewfinder too. Like such a beautiful, I don't know if it is a duochrome or a multi-chrome. It really shifts to so many different shades. I'm always, always amazed with the It's Bells formula. Absolutely love them. The next shadow in the palette is called Flip Flops. I really, really love these shades. This is more of like a purple, but with a lot of pink in it too, like a pinky purple matte. Like, look at that. Stunning. Those two shadows together, yeah, look by itself, you get the point. The next shadow in the palette is called Bikini. And I'm gonna actually swatch this shade because this is actually the bikini shade. These two shades got like interchanged in the first release. So I'm gonna swatch the actual bikini shade. And this is also a beautiful shadow. It has like a pink, but with like a teal shift running throughout it. It's really stunning. And this is a kind of a shadow that would transform on like whatever mat you put like can you see i i know that you can see a lot of teal and like green in it but i see a lot of blue i don't know if you can see it or not like i i really see a lot of like sky blue coming through and next we have the shade called boozy lavender which is more of like a blue purple matte shade blurple shade <laughs> so let's watch that And that's how it looks. I would say such a well thought out palette. Even the shades that has been placed in the palette is in such a nice way that you don't even have to like think about what you're going to put it on your eyes because it is going to look no matter what, it's going to look really, really nice. Now the next shadow in the palette is called Waves. And this is more like a sky blue to a purple shifting shade. Look at that. I have the shade right in the inner corners but when i mixed it with the blue purple like a blueberry pop shade it just melted down with it because it's like more of a translucent shade so i think that this by itself can you see that oh my god i need to use that by itself it has like that transparent base but it shifts so beautifully oh my god that is going on to my eyelid next time i put the eyeshadow stunning it is stunning wow wow <laughs> okay the next shade in the palette is called pistachio sunday and this is more like a muted green shade again like a pistachio shade right so if you put this underneath that topper shade that i swatched before it looks so pretty can you see that wow i mean i cannot get my eyes over that blue shade look at the shift oh my god okay calm down <laughs> But even that pistachio green shade, it is not splotchy. It's not patchy by any means. It's so beautifully blendable. It's lovely. Very, very impressed by their mattes, especially for the first time. It's really, really good. The next shade in the palette is called Margarita. And this is more of like a matte sky blue shade in the palette. It's very punchy. It's very, very punchy. This all over like for a matte eye look. It look really really nice even when you're swatching like pistachio and margarita next to each other it feels like they're very very similar to each other but on the eyes they do make a difference and that is margarita margarita is definitely a lot more blue i think if you when you're seeing it right next to that green that is when you feel like it's super close to each other but this definitely has like a lot more blue in it 
Now the next shadow in the palette is called Blue Karakao and I'm going to swatch this shade. And this is another shifting shade, such a beautiful, like a lavender, blue, pink, everything mixed together. Such a stunning shade it is. Look at that. Oh my God, you guys see so much of green. Can you see that? I don't see that green. Oh my God. No, I do see it. <laughs> oh my God. It's stunning. It is absolutely stunning. In the pan, I really do not see it. I mean, it feels so much like deja vu. Can you see that? I, sh I swatch this shade. It seems like blue to me. Like I see this. But do you guys see so much of that seafoam green? Look at that. Wow. And can you see that pink shift coming through? So pretty. Lavender, pink, green. Wow. Wow. Did I not apply that? Yes, I did apply that. Why does everything feel new? I don't know. Okay, let's watch the last row of the palette. The first shade is called Seaside. And this is like a royal blue shade. Look how smooth and pigmented that is. Again, that is called Seaside. And then the next shade in the palette is called Blueberry Pop. When I received this palette, this shadow was a little cracked. Nothing groundbreaking, but I could just fix it right back by pressing it in. I am in absolute love with this shade. Like this might be the favorite shade of my palette. Look how dimensional and beautiful that is. It's a deep blue to a purple shifting shade. And you can just go on and on. Look at my finger. Like that's the after effects of swatching. So pretty, so pretty. The next shadow in the palette is called Summer Nights. And this is like a very bright, like a green gold shade. Very, very green, I would say. I generally would shy away from these kind of shades, but this seems super, super nice. Look how punchy that is. Like stunning. Oh, get out of my front door. It's like that. So pretty. Like these all three shades together. Wow. St absolutely beautiful. The last shadow in the palette is called Palmera. Palmera. <laughs> excuse, excuse me. And this is more like a matte ivy green shade. So let's watch that. Such beautiful shade. Oh my God, stunning. Like, look at that. This is stunning, like absolute stunning palette in my opinion. Like, yeah, I don't see like one shadow in the palette that seems like, oh, this was not pigmented. This was a little splotchy. This was like not blending well. I don't see any shade like that. It just seems so well thought out. And I, oh my God, this, yeah. Absolutely no surprise with It's Spell Cosmetics. I really had high, high, high expectations out of this palette. And I can say, yes, they delivered it. Like I have no, absolute no doubts at all. Now, let me give you a close up of all the swatches in the outside lighting too, so that you can see all the shifts in the dimension and the way it shines under the sunlight, the way it shines under like the yellow light. It's totally, totally breathtaking. I cannot rave more about these shadows, like absolutely lovely. Now, if you're ready to see how I created these two looks using this palette, then please keep on watching. First, I'm going to go into this shade, this purpley shade called Flip Flops. And I'm going to take that in the inner third of my eyelid. Super pigmented. I'm going to tap off the excess. Yep. As far as I can see, it's really blendable too, especially purples, you know, like how difficult purple is to like even create, but I feel like this is blending really, really well. And when I heard like Nell speaking about it, she definitely said that it is buildable. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to build them slowly. I am not finding any problems, any issues in this matte shade. Super impressed. Like that. Now I'm going to go into Boozy Lavender. But in the promo photos, I felt like this and this is super close. But this is truly like a deep blue purple shade. And this is more of like a deep royal blue. 
So we're gonna test both of them out and see how it looks. I'm gonna take that on the outer corners. And of course we'll go with like shimmer shades, but before that, I'm just gonna mix both these shades together and just lightly blend it down the center. I'm gonna take the same brush on my lower lash line too. By the way, if you're seeing my face all swelled up, it's just because I've just taken out my wisdom tooth, all four of them. So it's swollen up and it's a little difficult to talk. Now just to blend all the edges, I'm gonna dip into this shade, which is seashells. And just go over the edges. It's really melting into each other really, really well. Actually yesterday, when I was like going outside, I actually only did wear this and this shade together, this on the crease and this on the eyelid. And that was such a beautiful everyday shade too. Everyday eye look too. I'll pop a picture if I have it on with me so that you can see like how wearable it can go to. Now for the lower lash line, I'm just gonna take this shade, flip flops, and I'm just gonna apply that right here. I'm just gonna take that NYX Glitter Glow, just because I don't want fallout on my eyelid. I'm just gonna take a flat definer brush and just pat it on the center of the eyelid. Nothing precise, just messily. I just want like a tacky base, that's it. I'm gonna take Bikini. Actually, this shade is called Blue Cacao, Blue Curacao. <laughs> These two shades have been interchanged, so I'm gonna take that I'm gonna take that on my, oh my God, look at that, oh, stunning. I just love, love its bell shadows. I'm gonna take that on the eyelid. I'm gonna take this space a little more on the blank side, just because I wanna go with another shimmer. Wow, that's stunning, stunning. Okay, now I'm gonna take the shade called Festival Nights. I'm gonna apply that here on the, oh my goodness. Are these magical or what? Whoa, stunning. Absolutely stunning, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, for the inner corners, I'm gonna take the shade Summer Glow and just apply that here. Stop it right now. <laughs> I'm gonna finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and I'll get right back. Okay, that was absolutely magical. So this is my first eye look. Now let's move on to the second eye look. I cannot wait. Okay, let's start off with this shade, which is Seaside, because I really wanna show you how different that blue and that purple is. I'm gonna tap off the excess. I'm gonna pack it on the outer corners. Definitely tap off the excess because I can definitely see um, fallout. I'm just gonna slightly blend it over the edges. And then I'm gonna take this shade, which is Margarita. Now I would say this shade definitely appears very, very close to Pistachio Sunday, especially in the promo photos, but Margarita shade is definitely much, much more punchy. So I'm gonna take that on the edges and just blend the shade out a slight bit more. Actually, I'm taking the same brush. And also going on my lower lash line with the same shade. Just like that. The same way that we did on the other side, I'm just gonna take it on the back of the flat defined brush and then just pat it just so that I have like some kind of a tacky base, but nothing precise. Okay, now 
I so badly want to dip into this. It's called Blueberry Pop. Look at that shift, that blue to a purple shift. Oh my God. Okay. Ah. So stunning. I'm gonna take that there, right in the center of my eyelid. That all over the eyelid would be so good. And that's the best part about this eyeshadow palette, I would say. Like you can take any two shadows that are close to each other like a matte and a shimmer shade and that can create an eye look for itself. Wow, okay. Now for the inner third of the eyelid, I'm gonna take this shade which is Waves. Wow, this is so soft, so soft. On the eyelid, like this just appears a little more on the brighter side. I don't know if you can see it or not. But it meshes really, really well with that blueberry pop shade. But definitely has like a lighter and a brighter purple and a teal shift. I need to use that by itself. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So that's the second eye look for the inner corner. I want to dip into this shade, which is actually, it's called Bikini. And I'm going to take that in the inner corner. And also underneath my lower lash line. I'm going to take the same shade right in the center of my eyelid just for a pop man that's stunning for the lower lash line let's take the shade seaside on the outer corner and then let's go with margarita now let me finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and i'll get right back and that is my second eye look. We went like a deep blue smoky eye. And here it is more like beachside, more vacation-y. I love both of these. Like they have some best of the best shimmers in their line. And I am actually very impressed with their mattes too. I love the fact that it's pigmented and it's blendable. But there is definitely a little bit of fallout. So definitely make, make a point that you do your eyes before you do your face makeup. But talking about the palette. Super, super impressed. I'll definitely do a green eye look in the future. In a very, very coming future, I would say. Uh, but yes, these... These are the two eye looks that I really wanted to focus on today. And let me know in the comment section below that out of these two eye looks, which one was your favorite? Are you jiving more with like the deep blue smoky eye or do you like this iridescent multi-chrome kind of an eye look uh, even more? But yes, if you did like this video, if you do like It's Bell Cosmetics, if you have not tried It's Bell Cosmetics, I definitely want you to try it once to see. And I think if you are a colorful person, you are absolutely going to love, love this palette because I feel like this is such a good and a different take on like a summer palette because it definitely has colors in it, but so much like more cool tone and so lovely for spring and summer. I absolutely am in love with this palette. But yes, if you did like this video, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post next. I generally upload three videos every single week, every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.